Why the pros use this meta run to close out their games when they're up on their opponent. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes that post my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I want to highlight an offensive run uh, that is very, very effective. You could build a whole scheme around it, but what I've noticed is a lot of pros will jump into this in the fourth quarter when they have a lead and they want to go and chew the clock against their opponent because what you could do is use the chew, the chew clock feature run the clock down snap the ball and uh, it's going to get you very effective yards and it's going to force your opponent to run commit to stop this now it is designed it is a alert bubble so you do have uh, basically the option to throw the ball off uh, but the run itself is extremely effective and it works like a lead draw uh, in a sense that uh, you're going to have blocking pushing up and then the ball gets hand off so it's got the animation is different from like a typical uh dive play it is more of a draw than a dive play now you can find this in the 49ers the Dolphins and the Broncos so if you are using these sets that's fine if not you want to consider using an i4 and slot and if you're using custom you want to throw this into your scheme because this will help you close out games and work that clock down and if you can get a, a, a few uh, first downs with this particular play you can definitely shut someone out and, and, and close them out so you can get your win now there's a couple of variations of this in the in the uh, San Francisco 49ers playbook. We have a stretch alert bubble, and then we also have the halfback dive alert bubble. Bubble. We're going to go with the halfback uh, dive alert bubble, and I'm going to run this against random 34 defenses. So really, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to take a quick peek off the left hand side and see if we have basically a two one a two on one situation. It's almost tempting to throw that ball to Pettis, but we're just going to go and run the ball. And you'll see that you're always going to get a really good push with the offense with the offensive line with this particular play. So really, what we're going to do is just going to see where we get a hole at. But you can see right here, I'm picking up seven yards against my opponent, and I'm I'm quick snapping my opponent, so they're not going to have a lot of time to set up any kind of elaborate defenses. And if I'm picking up five or six yards, I'm winning. So as you can see right here, uh, I'm picking up another seven yards right there, right up the hole. Snapping the play right away, so that means I can run that clock down. And I'm always getting positive yards, so that's the situation you want to be in against your opponent. Is this a home run play? No, you're not looking for a home run. You're just basically trying to ch chip yards against your opponent and get yourself into some, uh, some manageable situations. But you're going to break a couple big runs and basically be able to pick up a good 10 yards. So you can see right here, uh, pressure came in off the edge. And I'm always getting positive yards. I've got a fullback that's blocking for me. So the blitz, this run play is very effective. I recommend throwing it into your scheme. Now, here's a situation too with this play that makes it special is that if you get a 2 on one situation, so he's based to line his defense, uh, he doesn't have a defensive back over by Pettis, you can always throw it to Pettis too to catch your opponent off guard. So uh, it's just a, it's another way to go and attack your opponent off to the sideline uh, just to keep him guessing. So. There's a reason why the pros are using this to shut down, uh, to close out games. It is a very effective run. You can almost build an entire scheme around this particular run play because it's very effective and it's got the option of that bubble screen that you can keep your opponent uh, guessing with. So, guys, if you do like these type of tips, make sure you smash that like button. And I'll be rolling out more uh, meta plays and uh, my tactical uh, looks and offenses and defenses uh, to help you guys take the next game, uh, next level, and also showing you full gameplay and how I process my gameplay and how I, I, I pick up victories too. So thanks for your support, and until next time.